Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Many people have thoughts about gay and LGBT rights in Africa, the mother continent, and because of a lack of education, awareness, and frank open discussion, this has led to ignorant and harmful rumors that LGBT Africans are somehow un-African. Well, contrary to popular belief, there are indeed many indigenous African terms that describe romantic and sexual acts between men. Here is a list of 10 indigenous African terms that describe intimacy with men and their origins. Kimbanda. The word Kimbanda originates in the South and West African country of Angola, noted by historians as a term used throughout the famed Congo, which would spread the term's use to descendants in the Americas, particularly Brazil. The term Kimbanda describes the receptive partner in male intimate acts. Number two, Shoga. Shoga is an East African Swahili term used primarily by women for a platonic male friend who doesn't have sex with other women. Three, Kuchu. A source of pride for the LGBT community in Uganda, Kuchu is an indigenous and frequently used Swahili term, which means homosexual or queer. Four, Onek. Onek is a Kenyan term that derives from the Kikuyu people, which can mean the dominant male partner in male intimacy. Number five, Mugwave. Another Kenyan term on the list, Mugwave derives from the Maru people and denotes an anointed religious leader who wears women's clothes and can marry other men. Number six, Izin Kochane. In the South African Zulu dialect, the term Izinku Chane can mean a boy wife, as was a common practice with warriors in indigenous African communities. Gandaudu. In the Hausa ethnicity of Nigeria, Africa's most populous country, the word Yandaudu is a word which denotes a lifestyle of having physical intimacy with men, as well as wearing women's clothes and using women's pronouns in private. It is common for Yandaudu, who still marry women and have their own children as well. Number eight, Alangbanga. Another South African term is meant to describe a particular kind of relationship for Zulu men, and it denotes a physical relationship between Zulu warriors, particularly sex. Number nine, Sagoda. In Northeast Africa, the Konzu people of Ethiopia have a word, Sagoda, for effeminate men who never get married. Number 10, Ndonga Techila. Like the Zulu, the Zande people were historically known to marry male warriors together, either for extended periods of time, and sometimes these bonds could last lifetimes. In the marriage, an older warrior would pay a bribe price for a younger warrior to his parents, and the young man would become his Ndonga Techila, or his boy wife, as the word is simply translated. 